we have prepared hundreds of lessons for you, so you don't need to do that. But if you want to make changes, we have made that super easy too. First, let's take a look at the search function. Let's search for addition. The results will first list matching lessons from a current course. And then you are able to see all the other lessons from grades below and above your current grade level. You can easily pick any of these lessons and include it into your current course. Just click copy and confirm by clicking copy again. The lesson will go at the bottom of your current course's lesson list. So let's scroll there. You can use the arrows on right to drag and drop the lesson up or down. And if you click the lesson name, you're able to see all the exercises included in this lesson. As you can see, there's also eyes in front of the exercise names, so you can hide or show the exercises as you like. There's always some additional exercises included in all lessons if your students need more exercises to practice. Notice how the assignment count changes in the category title when I hide or show exercises. You can click the exercise name to test the exercise. And when you are happy, you can click stop testing to go back to the exercise list. There's also the preliminary assignments and bonus assignments categories. These are super handy for differentiation. Preliminary exercises include exercises that are easier and bonus assignments exercises that are more difficult. If you like, you can move existing exercises into the preliminary category by pressing the empty star on right, like this or the full star on right to the bonus category, like this. Preliminary and bonus assignments are only visible for selected students. To make that selection, we need to go to user's menu on top. The red notification already indicates that Edutens AI engine has two students to suggest to move either to preliminary or bonus category. Let's take a look. Carter, highlighted in green, should be included in the preliminary assignments, and Evelyn, highlighted in red, should be included in the bonus assignments. To do that, we just tick the checkboxes, like this, and we are ready. Now Carter has a set of easier tasks in his exercise list and Evelyn has the more advanced bonus assignments in hers. Let's click the Edutain logo on top to get back to the dashboard. This is how you're able to make customizations, modifications and differentiation easily in Edutain Playground.